One person is dead and police are searching for suspects after a wild chase through a cemetery. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. And I'm Sophia Ojeda. It's a story that we have been working all morning long. The chase came to a violent end along Market Street in Lockwood. And Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli joins us live now with more. Vincent, the man who died in the chase was actually trying to stop the people who stole his truck. A cemetery left desecrated, tire marks lead to broken tree limbs, headstones, and car parts. The toughest part is, is just seeing it, just looking at what happened. Last night, police say three suspects stole a truck. The owner of father chased them down, jumped on the side of the truck to try to stop them, but ended up getting ran over and dying from his injuries. I feel I'm speechless, really. I'm very speechless at what has happened. Lisa Judkins is a volunteer caretaker of the cemetery, which was built in the 18th. In that area over there, we have Buffalo soldiers, we have Masons, we have slaves, ex-slaves, lies in the ruin of this cemetery. She says seven of the 200 graves were violated. Our history lies in the ruins of these historical properties. They say a page of history is worth a pound of logic, so Jenkins is assessing the damage and plans to fix it as soon as possible. We're going to remove the debris and work very hard to get the fencing up as soon as possible. And right now, authorities are working to track down those three suspects who stole the truck and killed the father. If you know anything, please contact Houston Police. For now, reporting live in the Fifth Ward, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Vincent.